morning, everyone. We're your hosts for today. I'm Brielle. And I'm Gabby. Welcome, Welcome to Kids Church, Church News. News. We want to bring you our headlines from around the world. Take it away, Brielle. Thank you, Gabby. This headline comes to us from Sister Tricina Anderson in Portugal, where just a few weeks ago, a four-year-old girl named Leticia received the Holy Ghost in her home during family prayer. Take a look at this picture of her with her parents. That's not all. Her parents were baptized in Jesus' name about a year ago. Wow, God's doing amazing things in that family. Our next headline comes to us from Brother Daniel Borges in Brazil. A baby girl named Marina was born four months early. Her chances of living were very small. Her parents went to the church for prayer and God touched her little body. After being in the hospital for five months, she was finally able to go home for the first time. Here is a picture of Marina and her family. What a miraculous God we have, Gabby. Amen. We hope you enjoyed our new segment this morning. Brielle, come on, we have to get ready for worship. Oh dear, okay Gabby, let's go. <laughs> And this is Marina. I'm Janae. I'm Des. And we are here together to tell you about the kingdom and the mission of Christ. I am going to read in Romans 8, verse 9. But you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you, 
Now, if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Well, the Spirit of Christ, to be part of the kingdom, we have to have the Holy Ghost. Do you have the Holy Ghost? Do you have the Holy Ghost? Marina doesn't have the Holy Ghost. Marina doesn't speak English. But do you have the Holy Ghost? Yes, I do. Do you have the Holy Ghost? Yes. Okay. Marina has a balloon. But her balloon, it's just with air. And that means she doesn't have the Holy Ghost. But what is going to happen if something like a fire goes under her balloon? Is it going to pop or is she going to be protected? If you don't have the Holy Ghost, are you protected? Are you going to have it? Let's see. If her balloon pops, it's because she's not protected. She needs the Holy Ghost. Whoa! That scared me. <laughs> so you see, when you don't have the Holy Ghost, Something happens and you're not protected. You can't go. You can't be part of the kingdom or the mission. We are here in a mission. And our mission is to, for many to receive the Holy Ghost. So, Janae, ooh, <laughs> that looks like you have a little bit of Holy Ghost. Let's see. It didn't pop, but don't you need to be full of the Holy Ghost? Every time you go to church, you need to get refilled with the Holy Ghost. So, because if something happens, ooh, <laughs> you're gonna pop. You're gonna go through the fire. And you need a lot of Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. We have Jets. Last year, something happened to Jets. Jets had a heart attack at the age of 16. Mm -hmm. And Jets died. Yeah, he died. For over 45 minutes, there was no oxygen on his brain. By the time he got to the hospital, he was brain dead. But Jess was filled with the Holy Ghost. When, how old were you, Jess, when you were filled with the Holy Ghost? Do you remember? Yes. And nine years old. Nine years old. Yeah. He was nine years old when he was filled with the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost kept him. Because even though he went through the fire, he was in coma for so many days. But the Lord kept him. Hold your balloon just like this. You see? Just balloon. It's not popping. It's the same fire. It's the same balloon. The difference is because he has the Holy Ghost. The balloon is full with water. The water does not allow the fire to pop the balloon. So, Jess, even though he went through the fire, he was not affected. Jess had to relearn everything. When he came out of the coma, he was a baby. He was in the stage of a baby. He had to learn to talk. He had to learn to walk. He had to learn to eat again. Mm -hmm. And Jess is a musician. He's learning to play again. Just played in church tonight. So you see, you need the Holy Ghost to be part of the kingdom. And when you have the Holy Ghost, you can go through the fire, you can go through the storm, but God will keep you. So can we say to the children of Cooper City, Lord bless you. Okay, one, two, three. Lord, Lord bless, bless you. you and keep seeking for the Holy Ghost if you don't have it. And if you have it, remember, you need more. It's a pleasure.
Good morning boys and girls. Today we'll be working on a craft that will help us to remember to pray for all the people of the world, especially our missionaries. These are the materials that you will need. A world printout, and if you don't have a printout, uh, you can always draw it such as I did. Crayons or colored pencils. Construction paper. Scissors and glue. Are you ready to begin? Let's go. First, you will color the printout of the earth. Next, you will use your scissors to cut it into a circle. After that, we'll work on the hands. Take your construction paper and trace both of your hands. Once you're done with that, you're going to take your scissors again to cut them out. Then, take your hands and angle them one on top of the other and glue them together. And you're going to take your earth and glue it right on top of your hands. The fingers should be sticking out. Finally, you'll fold the fingers back towards the earth. Your craft should look like hands holding the earth just like the song, he has a whole world in his hands. Our theme for this mission service is the kingdom and mission of Christ. We can find the mission of Christ in Luke chapter 19, verse 10. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. We can use our craft to pray for God to hold the world in his hands. For God to help those that are hurting. For God to find those that are lost and save them. For God to fill people all over the world with His Holy Spirit. Lastly, we can pray for God to protect our missionaries and use them to reach all the people we are praying for. I hope you enjoyed this craft. Enjoy the rest of the service. Bye. Hi POCC kids, I'm Natalie. And I'm Logan. We are missionaries to Spain and Andorra. Being a missionary kid to me is a great opportunity to go into another country and preach the gospel to those who wouldn't have heard it otherwise. And being a missionary to me is making new friends and new places. We're really excited to say that we started the first Oneness Apostolic Church in the country of Andorra and we were able to baptize the first person, as we know, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for praying for us. Bye! Bye. Hi, I'm Jonathan, I'm an immigrant of Puerto Rico, and I'm 16. Being a missionary to me is about being a servant and serving no matter where God calls you. Being a missionary is also about winning souls to Jesus no matter where you are. Whether he calls you to Canada or Puerto Rico or Africa or even just to your own neighborhoods and schools. Being a missionary is about winning people to Jesus. Matthew 9, 35-38 And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching in the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion of them, because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep, having no shepherd. Then saith unto he, his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore, the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Today our missionaries are doing just that. They are having compassion on others and working for the Lord. Join me as we pray for our missionaries all around the world. Thank you, Jesus, for this day, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done and what you've given us. Lord, I pray your hand upon those laboring in the fields. I pray your hand can be upon them, that you can continue to bless them, continue to give them courage and strength and the faith that they need to continue to spread your word wherever they are, Lord Jesus. And I pray that you can compel us in our hearts and we can have ears to listen unto you if you're calling us. Lord, I pray we just open our hearts and you can just guide us that we can go on your path and your hand can be upon all of those around the world working missions and working for you, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. That was a wonderful service. Before we go, we want to remind you to continue to pray for our missionaries and their families. Also, we are all missionaries because we can reach out to our friends, families, and neighbors right here where we live. We can all be a light to the world. So this kingdom! Bye! Bye! Where did they go?
don't they know that there's a live service coming up right now? Ah, these kids. Bye.